Howard wanted was a home he could spend his final years in. Instead, the great-grandfather is living in a caravan. He says he put his life savings into a house and now he's locked out after a bust-up with the builder. I've basically worked 24-7 all my bloody life to get that house and I'm living in a caravan. It's a house from hell, I've called it. This is Howard's forever home, tucked away in the bush in central Queensland. A peaceful paradise for the 83-year-old to live out his final days with his dog by his side. But there's just one problem. He's been locked out by the builder. Yeah, bloody locked out, all right. And neither party is budging in this building bust-up. What's going on with the dispute? Yeah. Well, he's refusing to pay. He's refusing to pay, he says, because the house isn't built to ground level, like he'd asked. If we have a look at that detail there, that is disgraceful. Nobody... I wouldn't let my wife walk out that doorway. When I go, to go down there, this knee has got to bend right, You're right. enough down there to let me get the other foot down. He's being unreasonable, he's being silly, and now he's playing the old man card. This was my dream home, to be near the beach, where I can put the tinny in, go and do a bit of crab and fishing and sit back and enjoy the few years that I've got left. Howard's put his life savings into his Gladstone home, and he says he had one condition for the builder. I'm 83, I'm not getting any younger, I'm getting bloody older. I know that as I get older, I'm going to be prone to tripping over. And that was the understanding that I was going to get. I was going to get a house on bloody ground level. The house is finished, but Howard says it's not what he asked for. This is your garage. That's How right. are you going to drive your car in? I'm going to teach it to jump. You're going to have to. So for me to get up there and bend my knee, to make sure that I don't hit it here instead of getting up there is the problem. On the other side of the house is 440 mil. If you're not sure what 440 mil is, it's the height of a jury can. The builder is Craig Price from Coastal Homes. And when he pays his invoice, as he's supposed to by the contract, he will then get his keys. Howard is refusing to pay the final 70 grand bill on his half a million dollar home until Craig levels the ground with dirt. He thinks it's your responsibility as the builder I know, to fill it. I know he does, but it's not part of the contract. Howard claims he thought his house would look like this. His contract simply states low set. It says in his contract, low level house. That's yeah, what it says. Level home. Well, isn't slab built on ground as approved and passed by council? Well, isn't the maximum standard 190 millimetres? No. Craig says he's done everything he has to under the contract, but Howard doesn't agree. On that day, he said, You fill that in yourself. I said, I'm filling in. He said, That's your job. At the very least, it's got to be brought up to 190 mil, which is the building regulation. So I'm not filling it in. Neither is backing down, so Howard has been camping out on his block since Christmas. Dream home uh, sitting over there, building, accumulating dust and I'm building, stuck in a caravan with no toilet. Well, I'd like to see him I mean, boil the kettle and stand out there in the nude and have him in a bath at night time. And I'm doing it hard. I've got to drive down the bloody public tours to go to the tour. I've been in the building industry for over 50 years and I've never seen anybody provide an exit with, with more than 190 millimetres in the step, ever. We showed building consultant Desmond Powell the size of Howard's step. Some of those uh, step downs are over 400 millimetres plus. Now the building code is absolutely clear. It's 190 millimetres is absolute maximum in any step arrangement. Once he landscapes, he can bring the height up to whatever he wants, to Australian standards. To try and resolve things with Howard, the builder says he's filled gravel at some doorways. What he's done to camouflage it, he come down and put a wheelbarrow load of dirt there and put those two pavers there. This is only loose fill. 
So we've done it at goodwill after the council have approved it. There's no reason why they can't resolve this amicably because the issue is not that big. I've seen that you are an award-winning builder. Correct. Can't we come up with some sort of solution for this old man? Please don't don't let him be don't let yourself be fooled by an old man. I'll show you some of his emails if you like, and I'll show you he's not the polite, courteous little old man that he's showing himself to be. Howard admits he knows he's not supposed to be there. The regulations say that I don't, I'm not entitled to access to the house until practical completion and the final payment is made. So I know that I'm not entitled to be in the house. But the builder says Howard's request isn't what they agreed. There is no landscaping allowed in his price, nor is there a driveway allowed in his price, which he's welcome to do as long as he's welcome and happy to pay for it. And they're both holding their ground. I think it's clear here both of you are not going to see eye to eye, so no, no, who knows I'm... what's going to happen. I mean, he said that you're putting interest on the payments now, so... Correct, he's is, not paying, yes. There's going to be more out of pocket. Correct. Well, he needs to pay. The only problem is that I'm born with a bit more than a backbone than that. I don't give you an easy... <laughs> And that stalemate continues. Both Howard and the builder are seeking legal advice.